So in this video, I'll show you what to do in case your Echo Spot is not connecting to your Wi-Fi network. There's many different solutions. So let's start with the easiest of them, which is simply to unplug it, okay, from the back here, wait five minutes and plug it back. You should do the same thing with your Wi-Fi router. So unplug it, wait five minutes and plug it back. This is the easiest solution and obviously it only takes five minutes. So I suggest you start with this first and then you go to the second solution if it didn't work for you. Now the second solution involve your Wi-Fi router. Now it really depends on which company you're using. If you're using, for example, Xfinity, you need to go into Xfinity app, going to the Wi-Fi setting, device not connected, then select your Amazon Echo and you need to unpause it. Some Wi-Fi router will pause the connection to your Echo Spot. I don't know why, don't ask me. You just need to enter in the settings of your Wi-Fi router and check off all the devices connected and the device that could be connected but are blocked by your Wi-Fi router. Maybe the Echo Spot is one of them and by unblocking it, unpausing it, you solve this issue. Another thing that some people suggested on how to fix the Wi-Fi um, connection on this device is that if you're using a password for your Wi-Fi network that is WPA3, it's simply to put to enable a w, WPA2 password. It will be less secure, but sometimes this helps connecting an echo spot. So this is something you can try out. Again, you need to log in in the Wi-Fi settings of your Wi-Fi router and change the password security level from WPA3 to WPA2. Finally, if none of these worked, I suggest you deregister your echo spot from your Amazon account. This simply means that you erase it from your Amazon account and then afterwards you'll be able to add it again. Here is how you deregister an Echo Spot. So go on Amazon.com or if you're in Canada, go on Amazon.ca. Then on the top right corner over there, you should see sign in or if you're already signed in, go ahead and tap on your name. Once you type on your name, go down and select see all account. Next, you need to go down and select devices. Here will be listed all your devices that are linked to your Amazon account. If you want to deregister your Echo, well, go over here where it says Echo, tap on it, and you're going to see a list of all the Echo devices that you have under your account. Go ahead and click on the one that you want to deregister. Then go down and click deregister. Finally, you just have to click once more on this deregister button right over there and the device will be completely removed from your Amazon account. Obviously, your Echo device will need to be registered to another Amazon account or the same one if you want to use any feature. Once you deregister your Echo Spot, I suggest you remove the power cable, wait two minutes and plug it back. Then you'll be able to re-register it to your Amazon account and hopefully this will solve your issue. Finally, if nothing worked, I suggest you do a factory reset. So let me show you how you do a factory reset on this generation of Echo Spot. So what you need to do, obviously it needs to be turned on, drag down, select the cog wheel over here for the settings to appear, go down, select device options, then go down and you should see factory reset, tap on it. And now you're gonna have two different options. The first option is reset, but retain smart home device connections. This is not a full reset. It will not be the it will not be deregistered from your Amazon account. So if you want to completely erase everything that is here and it will be like brand new the moment you took it out of the box for the first time, you need to select reset to factory defaults. 
then you need to go down it will simply tell you here that it will be removed from your Amazon account everything will be white out are you sure you want to make this decision and if you're sure go ahead and press the reset button I won't do it now because I don't want to do this but usually after you press this reset button it will take less than two or three minutes and you'll get the setup screen again the same screen you got when you pick this device out of the box and you connect it the first time so you'll be able to connect it to a new Amazon account or maybe your older one let me show you right now how to set a new device so here we have a QR code and they ask us to scan it using the Alexa app so you need to take your smartphone and this is what I will do right now you probably already have the Amazon Alexa app installed on your phone if not go ahead it works with Android and iPhone launch the app and on this main screen you may have this pop-up um, screen that will appear after about three seconds um, after you open the app if you see the screen go ahead and tap on agree and continue if you don't see it don't worry what you need to do is to press on the top right corner where you see a plus sign tap on device then Amazon Echo tap on echo echo dot echo pop and more tap yes it will search and in this list you should see your device so mine is over here echo spot you can tap on it just wait a few seconds all right select your Wi-Fi network from the list then you need to enter your password press connect you should have a blue check mark on your device once this is done there's a good chance that your device will need to be updated before being able to use it and this is what it will do automatically so you just have to set it aside it can take up to five minutes in the meanwhile while this is updating uh, on the app if you press continue you're gonna have this screen and it will ask you where is this Alexa located you can select your address over here where probably all your other devices are or if you want to add a new address go ahead and press enter new address if you have selected to add a new address go ahead and select where this address is mine is let's say home so I'll select home press next update on this step it will ask you to say where this device is located in your home so is it in the bedroom other parts go ahead select the appropriate option now it's time to choose the clock display the one that you'll see over here all the time so make sure you select one that you like obviously you'll be able to change this in the future if you dislike it in my case I like this one I think it's the clearer this is the way I can see the time the best but if you like to have weather there's these two ones over here you see you have one with the sun and the other one you have the weather right on the top actually let me pick this one here it will tell you how to snooze the device in case you're using it as an alarm clock or maybe just an alarm you just need to tap here and at the end you'll get this screen get started with Alexa your echo spot is ready Whoops press on let's go and this is about it your device will be added over here when you press devices you can tap on it and you'll be able to edit a few different settings from this screen if you want to edit more settings click on this cogwheel obviously now it says that device is offline because it didn't finish updating once this will be updated you won't get this red message because it will be connected all right so now I'm back it took about three minutes I think four minutes to fully update I think even more depending on your Wi-Fi speed it even may take five or ten minutes anyway you'll get this main screen and you'll be able to use your new echo spot uh, right now I have a notification this is why you see this yellow bar 
but overall to navigate and to use it it's very easy if you swipe down you're gonna have these quick settings so what you need to understand is that the first icon here is the home button so no matter in which menu you are no matter what is display here if you want to go back on this home screen you just have to swipe down and press home right now I'm on home so nothing will happen if I do it then you have this Sun icon this is just for the brightness of the screen and then you have night mode if you don't want to be disturbed let's say and finally we have this cogwheel which will find every single other settings so you have the, co uh, the so you have the clock and theme if you want to change these go ahead the color I won't go through them but you get the idea if you want to customize the look of your home screen let's say then you have Bluetooth in case you want to connect another device to it most people will may connect a um, Bluetooth speaker if this one is not loud enough to you maybe you want you have a big one that is more appropriate for your room you can connect it by going in this settings it will tell you here what to do and we have other ones like display sound device option again I won't go through every single one of them it will probably take hours but you get the idea this is where you need to go if you have if you want to change something about this echo spot so no matter again where you are in these settings if you want to go back home because you're done swipe down like that press the home button and this is it quick note on the top of this device you have only three different buttons there's no camera I know the other echo spot the older version had a camera this one does not you have the minus here if you want to lower the volume plus if you want to make it louder and finally you have this button that when you press it it will light up red and you can always see this red bar as well it simply means that uh, your echo spot will not react will not listen through its microphones so if you say Alexa well nothing is happening you see Alexa so this was it I hope this was useful please leave a like subscribe and I'll see you in the next video